Yo, what's up guys? If you've ever wanted to summon like pretty much any of the number monsters, this is your go-to card. This is a super new boss monster that's gonna summon anything between one and 100. There's probably no other Yu-Gi-Oh card that has that many targets for like summon something from the extra, which is gonna be insane. If you're excited about an insane card, drop a like on it because I don't think we've ever seen a card like this before. And there's a bunch of other rank up stuff. Uh, again, it's just gonna be more support for these Exiles, but maybe some other decks make use of it. This is apparently another form of a Utopia, but let's go ahead and see if it's actually any good. So it says rank up uh, beyond the impossible and uh, it's not gonna come out for a while. There's gonna be a new structure deck. Uh, there's gonna be a super new boss monster for, I guess, like, uh, you know, rank up decks. Anyways, number 99 Utopia Dragner is the name. It is a rank 12. Uh, light warrior exceeds effect monster with 3,000 attack and 3,000 defense points and its materials are 3 plus level 12 monsters and it says You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each The first brawl effect is a quick effect you detach two materials from this card to spell some one number monster that has a number between 1 and 100 inclusive uh, in its name from your extra deck. This is treated as exceed summon, and then during the turn you activate this effect, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except for exceeds monsters. Also, your other monsters cannot attack directly. Also, it, meaning it's going to be kind of difficult to maybe pull off OTK unless you go for like a huge amounts of damage. But the second part of the effect is when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can change its attack to zero. I mean, the fact that you can get that many targets is probably one of the most versatile cards ever for like just bring out anything. Obviously, you know, the extra deck is not going to have that many cards, but unless you're playing remote duels, and at that point you can play, you can actually play those extra 100 to XCs cards, but I, I don't know. I think that that's probably one of the most insane effects. Like, is it actually good though? I mean, it has a bonus effect, right? And on top of that, guys, keep in mind, this is a quick effect to go ahead and surprise your opponent, and it doesn't negate that effect that turn. Yeah, you can't spell some monsters from the extra deck this turn um, that you activate it, so it would kind of hurt if you want to activate something that brings, you know, tributes it, it brings out something else. But for the most part, since you're ranking up, um, you could still like rank up to another exceed monster after again remember this is a quick effect this is what makes it so powerful uh being able to surprise your opponent with like literally like anything that you want which is kind of cool all right next up the uh, extra support uh this is going to be uh the hyper rank up uh magic hope Force, which is a normal spell card that says you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each. The first effect is target one rank nine or lower Utopia monster you control and spell summon one rank 10 or higher Utopia or Utopic seed monster from your extract. By using that monster you control as material, this is treated as exceed summon and transfer its materials to the summon monster. <coughs> And it says, if an Exceed Monster is special summoned by a rank 10 or higher Utopia or Utopic Exceed Monster effect, and this card is in your graveyard, you target one of those summoned monsters and attach this card to it as material. Okay, nice little uh, bonus with it. Next up, we have Zexel Field. This is a field spell card that says you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. The first part of the effect is your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response uh, to the activation of your cards and effects that target an exceed monster you control. The second part of the effect is if exceed monster is special summon it to your field, you get to target one of them, attach one exceed monster from your extra deck or graveyard to it as material. This is actually pretty big, um, considering a lot of things can benefit off of just throwing it into the graveyard, then you know, doing something with it later if it's like if you have this card in your graveyard, right? So this could be a nice little bonus. And then on top of that, the third part is during your draw phase, before you draw, you can place one shining draw from your deck on the top of your deck. Okay, hold on. I gotta look up this card. I don't remember this card off the top of my head to give you guys like a little like uh, review over here we should actually check this shining draw all right so shining draw you activate this card you have to draw it for your normal draw phase reveal it and keep it revealed until uh, the uh until the main phase one during your main phase one the same turn you can target Nick utopia exceed monster control then activate one of these effects you can equip any number of zw monsters with different name from your deck or extra to it wait okay this is actually insane because it says to activate this card and it just top decks it, right? You can place one so then you would 100% get This is actually insane because that lets you target eight. Wow. So that just lets you instantly guarantee it 100% and you can touch everything from your deck and then you just win. That's actually making it look pretty good. Or you can special summon from your extra deck a Utopia. Um, one Utopia Exceed Monster with a different name from the target. Uh, by using that target as material, and then the street is Exceed Summon to transfer the rest of the materials. Okay, this is actually pretty interesting. I've never seen anyone really use this. 
maybe because of that uh, effect where you have to draw it during your no normal draw phase. I mean, you could technically, Plague Spreader was like the main card where you would stack something on top of your deck, but I don't know, is this going to be insanely powerful? Because remember, your opponent can't activate anything in response when you're basically like ranking up, and that can make it super, super good, especially if you're going to like rank up after you attach all those free extra materials. Okay, so this is, I, okay, it's just regular Utopia. I, I just clicked on it. Uh, I've, I was thinking some like new like spaceship looking thing. I think his wings are like going in for like a shield. Reminds me of, uh, if you any of you guys played Zone of the Enders, what is it, uh, Art Jet? Um, no, a different Konami game though. Uh, next up, Zubaba Knight uh, getting a reprint and Gaga Magician getting a reprint. Gaga Girl getting a reprint, Gaga Clerk getting a reprint, Go 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 Golem getting a reprint, and then Shining Draw and Double or Nothing. And then High Five in the Sky. So those are the reprints that we got announced. And there's more new Yu-Gi-Oh! news. This is actually kind of gonna be a downside of um, some of the product news, but um, delays on upcoming products. So uh, the Egyptian God card decks, the uh, Egyptian God Cypher the Sky Dragon, the Egyptian God deck Obelisk the Tormentor have been delayed uh, to the weekend of June 16th for North America and European territories. And also the Booster Pack King's Court has been delayed until the weekend of June 30th for North America and European LED territories. No reason provided. I'm guessing, you know, it's just whatever. Um, you know, with everything going on, it's just hard to get some of the product. But anyways, that's going to go ahead and wrap up the video for the stuff. So unfortunately, Egyptian God card decks, it's going to be a while before we get them. But I think the Utopia stuff is insane. Like the, the fact that you can equip all of them, you get to quick effect, special summon, like pretty much whatever number monster you want. That's, I, I mean, yeah, there's, there's cards that go up, but it's pretty much any number, almost any number monster. That's an insane effect. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new here and do want to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh! videos in the future, uh, make sure you guys subscribe with the bell notification on. And if you guys want to send me replays of number 99, this card is going to definitely see some crazy combos. Feel free to send a replay to Asia's replays at gmail.com if you'd like to. I'll give you a shout out and you can be featured on the channel. But anyways, take care guys, and I'll see you in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.